Hi, today the topic of our video is things you should do if somebody insults you. So talking about the first things first, basically let's clear the doubts about what insult is. Insult is a disrespectful remark or a scornfully abusive remark that somebody makes or a person makes when they're angry at you, when they lose their cool and when they're frustrated. The reason of their anger, the reason of frustration might not necessarily be you. The reason of their anger might be the bad weather or their friends, maybe. So, um, according to different countries, nations and communities, insult is different for different persons. It comes in different shapes and sizes. Uh, for some people, insult is when you verbally or physically abuse another person for some people insult is when you get offended by another person's actions even though they are not directly linked with you and for some others insult is when you make an insulting remark to a religious personality to a political personality to another person who doesn't necessarily have a contact with the person who took that insult as a personal insult he says that you insulted him even though you didn't. So it's a little bit complicated, but yes, that's the way how insult is. So there are basically two categories of people who might insult you and who do insult you. The first category is the people of those who care for you and you do care for them too. Because of some known or some unknown reasons, they consider you guilty of doing something wrong and they scold you and are angry at you and they might also insult you. So in this category, uh, because it's related to the people who you care of and who do care for you too, so let's listen to a story. There are these two girls like Sara and Emily. They are like the best of the best friends. They go to the same school, they go to the school together, they come back home together, they do their homework together, they even live in the same street and they play in the same park. They're like really the best of the best friends. Now one day, there is this girl, Anna, she comes to Sarah and she tells Sarah that she heard Emily say something bad about her. Now Emily happens to be a very nice person and Sarah happens to be a very emotional person. So after hearing this, Sarah is heartbroken. She goes to Emily, makes an emotional speech and gets angry and insults her. Even though she didn't mean to, but she did insult her. And uh, now, if Emily would be an emotional person, her response be the similar as Sarah's. She would get angry at Sarah and would not reply her back and that would have been the end of their friendship. But if Emily happens to be an intelligent person and she listens and watches the videos of motivation for all, of course, then she's an intelligent person and she would know how to react so this is how she reacted she let sarah went out her anger she let sarah speak her heart out when sarah had spoken everything and emily did not lose her cool instead emily understood the problem the problem was anna the problem was what Anna said to Sarah and this happened. So Emily clears out or tries to clear out the doubts between them. She might tell Sarah that she said the name Sarah, not Sarah. So there might have been a misunderstanding of the names, confusion of the names that led to this problem. Or maybe she would tell uh, Sarah that um, Anna is a jealous girl, she was jealous about our best friendship and so she cooked up this story to separate us and uh, she would tell Sara then let's be friends again and consider nothing happened, we are the same as before and I still love you and still uh, things like that. So um, this is how it would end in a better way. Now here is the second category. The second category is of the people you do not know and who do not know you. 
you both barely know each other and you might be enemies you might be opponents or competitors there might be some sort of hatred between you two or maybe that person who insults you is not a very good person not has a very good character he comes to you insults you in front of a lot of people and you think you should think that you have self respect because you do have self respect and you should reply him back and reply him in a way that you make sure that this never happens again so yeah these are the two categories of the people who can insult you and who do insult you and this is how you should reply and how you should act to avoid adverse circumstances adverse situations so stay motivated and never get insulted